So Sam, you're bringing us some announcements today. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on and then we'll transition today uh, with a little closing and get into our, um, uh, our coffee hour. So okay. what's up? I've come with announcements. So first announcement is just a reminder that we'll see somebody from the executive committee or council show up and give us their announcements and updates about what's going on at our saviors. As we know, for those of us who were here the other week, we saw Mark last week yep. um, and we'll see more of that going forward once a month and proof in the pudding mark's announcement did some good we got some responses out of that so we now have a strong search team as we look for administrative needs on the heels of skip's retirement which is great yeah. um, we've also got a full ministry and context reflection team also awesome and we've even got a few folks who have stepped up to serve on council as we begin the nominating process Thank that's you. fantastic yeah yeah really good stuff there um, other good news we have, the confirmation team is working on a confirmation Sunday experience. So that's um, for last year's class and for this year's class, as we know we had a little bit of a hiccup last spring. Um, so they're looking to do that on May 23rd and it's going to be shared digitally with everybody in the congregation so the entire parish family will be able to come together to celebrate. And coming up this week, Monday night, we've got Women of the Old Testament, and I think that's with Martin, right? Yeah, that was with Martin, yep. Yep, and then we've also got the Racial Justice Activation Circle on Monday night. In addition, on Wednesday night, we've got the Church Executive Committee meeting. And then on Thursday night at 11, excuse me, Thursday night, Thursday afternoon at 11 a.m., we've got Life Before God, which is our group book study that we'll be doing. And then Finally, we've got a new series on Soul Forum. It's looking at integrating economic justice and into the peacemaking process. Um, and it's based on interfaith work done in Malawi, Africa. So that's where that's going. Of course, and as a communications person, I'm especially, I feel deeply about this. Make sure you tell your friends and the people in your life that you can access all of this great content in this digital universe. It's yep. all over the place. We've got the live feed today. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. You can go all over the place for this information. And you can reaccess these announcements by going to the YouTube announcements channel. And I'll even post that link in the Facebook feed so that you all can access it there as well. Um, so share, enjoy, go back and re-listen come back and ask us questions about why we said the crazy things we said. Highly recommend that. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And that's, I mean, that's all the news we've got. All right. Well, yeah. and I was noticing like the, um, uh, someone was telling me that we get a better, um, we get better eyeballs on this experience when people like uh, the experience or share the experience. Yes. So uh, well, we just encourage people to do either one of those um, even if you don't like it, just say you like it and other people will have to see it because it'll show up on their feed, right? So it's this way of kind of sharing the energy you're having with this experience with others, whether yeah. they want to have it shared with them or not, right? So just like what you see. And, yeah, uh, like I think what you see. And, and even if you don't like it, I mean, I will say there have been plenty of things I've shared because I wanted to discuss what I didn't like about it. <laughs> so that's true. Do that too. Good opportunities for learning for all. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that. All right. Well, thank you, Sam. I wanted to just hang on for a minute because um, we are going to um, uh, <laughs> shift gears now. Uh, thanks to all of you who are a part of this morning and uh, kind of, you know, just sort of paying attention to how, how you might think about your own religious construct as a way of both offering you a moment to kind of loop back to the, the warmth and wonder and tenderness of history and ways of thinking that have brought us to this point. I think religion serves that in a beautiful way. Just like listening to an old Andre Crouch song, right? It, it touches some deep place within us, but religion also has this capacity to open up kind of the, the tomb, right? To break you free into new ground and to, and to kind of trust yourself to that part of the journey too, as fully. So it's not just always looking for comfort, but it's looking for a way forward and a new frontier in which to journey and that religion has always had a partnership of both. And hopefully, whichever one you emphasize, um, particularly as we try to find our way forward together, uh, it's important to know that uh, the God who's been part of history is also God who is part of future as well, right? God's in both spaces. So have some confidence, <laughs> pedal harder. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, let me, um, uh, so thanks for sharing. I'm gonna shut off our uh, Facebook 
live feed. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. And uh, welcome anybody who'd like to join us for our um, coffee hour. <laughs>